Kim, thank you so much. Uh, we want to talk about a big decision potentially that could impact millions of people. The FDA has approved an HPV vaccine, but this time it's for adult men and women ranging in age from 27 to 45. So is this for you and how does it impact you and what does HPV do to you? Dr. Sharon Thompson is joining us to answer some of those questions. She's with One. Central Phoenix Obstetrics and Gynecology and this will be an important topic I imagine uh, when you're seeing patients because this was not an opportunity before. Absolutely and when the vaccine was approved for young people yeah. 9 to 26 a lot of older women asked mm -hmm. you know can I get can this I get vaccine this? and the answer was well it's not FDA approved okay. and now it is. Okay. And so HPV is the virus for people who don't know. It stands for human papillomavirus, and it's a virus that we found out about maybe 20 years ago now. Uh, it's the cause of cervix cancers, but we're also learning that it's the cause of other cancers, really? cancers of the throat, ah. um, oropharyngeal cancers, uh -huh. um, anal cancers. So it's implicated in some other cancers in the body that are less common, but prevalent okay. and this vaccine can prevent those as well. And this is something that can hide in the body. It can be dormant. You don't necessarily show signs of it. Yes. So uh, vi this particular virus has a long lead time. Okay. You can be infected with the virus today and not have any noticeable disease for 20 years. Wow. In that time, we can do things to prevent you from getting disease and mm -hmm. that's what pap smears are for. Mm -hmm. um, but the, this vaccine can uh, help people who have no symptoms at all, okay. but it can prevent them from getting that disease in 20 years. Okay, so mm -hmm. does it work similar to what we talked about with the younger people? Yes. There's a series of shots you need. Yes, okay. and there's an important distinction. So for young people who get the vaccine before age 15, they can get two shots. Okay. For uh, adults, the adult vaccine, they'll need three. Okay. So you'll get your first vaccine about a month or two later, you get the second, and about six months later, you get the third. Oh, mm -hmm. so what if somebody is not sure whether they are, whether they have HPV, maybe they haven't shown signs of it, but, but how do they know they have it? If you have it, are you not eligible for the vaccine? That's How does that work? That's a great question. Um, there are over 130 types of HPV virus. Um, we know that about 10 or so of them are implicated in the cancers that I mentioned. And so you may have had one, uh -huh. but it's unlikely that you've had all nine. So even if you know that you have one HPV uh, virus in the past, the vaccine can still be helpful and oh, be still recommended okay. because it protects against nine. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, we're talking mostly about women, but is this something for men as well? Yes. Okay. So HPV vaccine is approved for boys, girls, men, and women. Oh. Yes, because cervix cancer affects women only, but the oral cancers we see more commonly in men, and anal cancers can affect anyone. Mm -hmm. male so and uh, when patients come to see you, I mean, how often do these conversations come up? And it, I imagine it's probably uh, best if you bring up, hey, let's talk about are you aware of these options or not? Yes, yeah, so they, the conversations can come up almost anyway. Uh -huh. Most commonly they come up at that annual visit. Okay. And this is one of the reasons why we encourage women to continue to come in for their annual visit, mm -hmm. even if they don't need a pap smear. Mm -hmm. So these conversations can happen. Mm -hmm. And so men also, when they go to their doctors, and I recommend going for an annual visit for them as well, mm -hmm. um, to talk about these kinds of questions, preventative measures that can protect your health. Okay. And mm -hmm. in addition to uh, the vaccination, what about just disease prevention in general? Obviously, we want to follow the same rules for, for contact and to, to not be able to I, ideally nobody yeah. would be able to spread anything to anybody right sure uh, so for HPV it is sexually transmitted okay. so the one thing that can help reduce transmission is condoms when mm -hmm. you're uh, sexually active but it's important to note that HPV virus can be spread by skin to skin contact oh. so even if you use condoms with every part of which I recommend um, you could still spread HPV so it's so important to have these conversations with your doctor get your routine pap smears and get the vaccine now okay. that it's available up until age 45. And last question, any side effects to be concerned about with the vaccine? No, these vaccines are relatively safe and you see minor side effects and pain at the injection okay. site. Some people may faint because they faint from shots. <laughs> That's um, just from you walking in the room with a needle. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't see a lot of major side effects from these vaccines. They're okay. pretty well tolerated. So go ahead and talk about it with your doctor. Absolutely. Find well, great out if to it's see right you. you. Thank you so much, Dr. Thompson. Thanks for having me. This is an important topic. I'm Delivering glad Delivering any babies this morning? None this morning. All right. Not yet, at least. We'll <laughs> see what happens. Thank you.